Good morning, everyone. It's, uh, it's July someday, huh? July 25th. And I got an email I gotta read. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I'm here to actually plant the bananas. Uh, I don't have them right here. They're actually on my uh, plant stand right now. The first one I need to do is actually go ahead and remove remove but move this uh, sprinkler what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and install this is a half inch pipe and I'm gonna go ahead and install an elbow I'm gonna remove it move it all the way to the where the shovel's at go ahead and toss on a half inch 90 degree elbow put a piece of PVC have it come up now I'll go ahead and toss on this half inch to a mill fitting and into a spigot and this just screws on right like so that way I'll have a water source for my bananas and there's another reason why I have this and why I need the water source right here um, not just for ease of watering but for a system I've set up all right so I'm going to get this pipe moved out of my way so I can go ahead and dig the soil uh, I tried digging it already you guys saw my previous video, a complete fail. And uh, so I went ahead and soaked it. It's pretty soft. It's been drying out for two days now. Uh, still a little clumpy, still a little muddy, clumpy, but it's workable now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, pipe moved. Be right back. Easy work, folks. The soil is wet still. Alright, so <clears throat> I have my whole dig or dug and digged. Um, I didn't go two feet because this is a lot of soil that's gone now. And it's uh, right over there. So once that dries out, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and take my um, metal rake and level it out so this is only a foot and a half still good enough it's plenty of space for the for the bananas I mean the bananas I should go grab them and show them to you guys but they're only about way big still they're small not many really deep roots right at this time so if I were uh, you know really plants in a tree or you know like my apple tree I dug two three I dug three feet down when I did my lemon tree I dug three four feet down uh, so this would be all right and the soil's not as bad as I thought. It, uh, there's actually worms in it. I was very surprised. You know, not a lot, but there's a couple worms here and there. Alright, so on to step two. So you need some plastic. You also need something to secure the plastic to the outside walls or the inside walls. Ideally, you want your plastic to come right up to the top. I don't have enough plastic for that, it's fine. As long as you get the plastic down where any additional roots can come and grow into, say uh, that rubber tree right there, or this grass. What this does is it blocks any additional roots like this from growing into your extremely, extremely fertile soil. comes up right up to the level of the lawn. So bring it up just a little bit higher. I actually have a border I'm going to install. And I'm going to use a hammer. One of these, uh, yeah. Let's secure this to the sides. I only really need to secure it on the ends corners. The front will hold, will be held up by the weight of the soil once I get it in.
I put this over here on the other side. Alright everyone, so that's the plastic there. And as I said, mentioned, I want to just, you know, pretty much level with the grass. Anything that kind of sticks up above that, I will, um, I'll just come around and just trim it a little bit. Just take a little bit off the tip or fold it under. Um, I'm also going to do a, uh, a border around it with uh, some uh, landscape bordering. So, I just don't have that on me right now. It's at a neighbor's house. So, I'll run over and grab it. Step two. This is a piece of a rain gutter attachment. When you uh, need to extend it and run it to, uh, say, a drain. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drill a lot of holes. cheese. <laughs> you guys can see it. Full of holes. Alright. Now what are we going to do with this? Huh? Well, I'll fill it up with these. This rock. Alright. One trick to doing this is to hold up one end. Hold up the ends like so. Way. The rock is only getting filled in here. Once I get this installed, I can go ahead and go ahead and add more lava rock to fill this all the way up to the top. What I usually do is I'll put it like so, have it pointed upwards, back. Top like so. Just pick it up, wiggle it, get it all the way through. All right. You see it there. You see it there. All right. Take you out of the hole. Looks like I've dug a grave. Huh? Not a deep enough one. Though. This thing was a little bit longer. Um, I didn't pre-measure this spot and then check the size of that. I could have gotten a larger one, but it's alright. This is actually something uh, reclaimed down in the garbage. It's no one else's garbage. They're on the street. Alright. So we just want it up here. We don't want this below ground. Below the ground level, you want to right level with the ground and as center as possible. Alright, that's about right. Alright, so now, now I'm going to cover this up with soil. First, I need a Cover up these holes so that no soil gets inside of it. You get a lot of soil in there. Basically, the purpose of this is so that you can feed and water through it. So, if you have soil in there, what's going to happen is just going to muddy up and it's going to clog the holes. So, I need to cover up the holes. I'm going to go grab some newspaper, just shove it in there, and then lay my soil on top, pull the soil, uh, take the newspaper out, fill the level it out with some more rock, level the soil, um, 
and then I can go ahead and well, plant it. Yeah. First, I'm going to go ahead and get the spigot connected first so that I can actually have access to it. Well, so I don't have to redig the hole. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. I'm going to get some more supplies. Be back. All right, good enough. Take just a little bit of sandpaper. This is previously used. It all up. Just gonna go around the sides with it just a little bit. Make sure, a good seal. Right. Go ahead and some primer. This stuff is a mess. Very messy. Don't ever use this stuff on concrete. It would stain your concrete, stain anything it touches. Make sure you seal it tight because this stuff evaporates. Even if you just hand tighten it, it'll evaporate. If it's on the side, it'll spill. It'll leak out. So you just want to go ahead and prime the connection. And prime your elbow. And do both sides. Put this off to the side just for a second. Get dirt on it though. I'll get it dirty. Right. I'll take this, go ahead and go over the sandpaper a little bit. Go ahead and prime this as well. All different colors of cement glue or uh, yeah, cement PVC glue. This one by chance is yellow. I don't know why. I think each color has a different strength for different PSIs. Um, first, what I want to do is I want to connect the elbow to this section here. So it's going to go around just a couple times, like so. Get a good helping on there. Put the 90 degree elbow on, hold it. It holds this for 15 seconds, at least 15 seconds. What happens is this glue will push this connection right off. So you gotta hold it, let it set up for 15 seconds before you uh, move on. All right, just watch it, make sure it doesn't push off. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and take some glue, some more cement, put it around this bad boy down here, and fit this right on there. Give it a turn, hold that for 15 seconds. Alright. Now it's time to do the soil. Smash your finger. Good luck. <laughs> Alright. Let me fix you. There we go. Start off with the steering manure. So if I come up short with the soil. Backfill some of the soil I took out. Looks like I might be a little, uh, I might be short. All right, so I'm happy with that level. I added two wheelbarrows of this dirt bag that I took out. The reason why I did that, why I wanted to remove it, not use it at all, is the crabgrass. My whole yard is nothing but crabgrass and weeds. to avoid using dirt that has crabgrass roots in it so that's why I did it but as I poured it back no 
I uh, sifted through it, got all the roots I saw out best I could. I'll give it a light churning. The soil has zero nutrients in it. Oh, it worms though. This right here is just three cubic feet, standard garden soil. Kellogg product, made in California. Everyone knows the number one injury sustained in the gardening, gardening, dehydration. I'll go grab my water down Gatorade. Can't drink, drink it straight. Oops, thought I had you guys a I had you guys on. Alright, well. Now you're on. Installing this landscape barrier so that the gardener I hired to come do the mow and blow. Because I don't own the equipment to do it myself. I have something that comes back here with his edger. This weed whacker, his edger. That's something solid to cut against. All right, so what's next? All right, we got the pipe in, we got the border on, we got the plastic in, we got the soil back. Um, plants. I think it's time to put some plants in the ground so I know where they're at. And I can do the next extra steps, the extra surprise step I got for you guys. All right. And grab my bananas. Alright, so here's the bananas. Flight and neglected. Just a little bit. Um, so every time I try to plant these, I end up, a client ends up needing something and not having supplies, and I end up having to use my own supplies. So I'm trying to wonder what else does this do besides. Uh, Possibly using it for adding fertilizer to the roots, but also aerates, adds oxygen to the soil. Now, if I were planting a tree, and these are banana trees, but a full size tree, this pipe will be about four feet deep and a big U. Okay. For my purposes, I'm not going to plant right on top of it like you would a tree plant next to it. So I'm gonna put a banana there, banana there, and one right there too. One right there. I have another one. This 
one I actually potted up. This one I actually potted. Fancy, huh? For a friend of mine, he's doing a promotion with coffee and using coffee beans as a nutrient for plants. <coughs> Nitrogen. And he asked me if he can use a banana. Apparently they use bananas a lot in coffee. Uh, coffee farm. Avocado, too. One. I thought I was only going to be able to fit four in here. Space them out this way. This will work. This will work. Um, Alright, let's plant this one. I've been feeding them a uh, fox farm. Same stuff I will start using for my hydroponics. Kind of revive them a little bit. They are very happy with me. They're doing good now. Seem happy. I don't think I ever showed you guys me plants and stuff. Like you see me talk about it, show updates. Never actually plants. There you go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six bananas. Okay. Now before I remove the newspaper, I have some other things to do. Or uh, Since I'm still going to be working here, I'm going to leave the newspaper in there until uh, the very last uh, minute. The very last thing to do. Alright, next is... Besides mulch... Ah, oh, my surprise. Before I go any further, I need to give these uh, transplants just a little bit of water. I'm a little wilty on me. Wish it was overcast today. Let's see how this spigot works out. Alright, here comes the surprise. Got your pants on. Yep. Looks like a little 
little pipe bombs, don't they? Uh, these are PVC feeders I made up. You know, I've used PVC feeders in the past for a lot of clients of mine. Usually what I do is I, you know, I have this taped up until I install it, drill some holes along the side, and then I'll just leave this wide open, you know, so that water can get in there. And since they're, I'm going to drill some holes right now along the sides here, as your water or rain water gets into it, it uh, releases the nutrients to the soil. So this, I decided, got a little creative, and I was like, okay, I like this. You know, these are pretty good quirks in here. And I was like, what if I drill a hole? You know, drill a hole into a quirk and put a rainbird system in it. So this goes all the way inside. I have a little bit of attachment inside so that any water back feeding into it won't clog the line. It's like a little screen. Um, not going to give you all my secrets of this. Because uh, I do, hopefully, someday. You know, Maybe I can sell some of these, you know, make some money on them. Pretty cool. So, stay tuned. There's a little surprise at the end for you, for you guys. So I'll go ahead and just drill that size hole. Tiny. Itty bitty. Alright, now I got my holes drilled. I drilled more on one side than the other, so there's four holes there. And I also did one there, and one there at the base, so that more nutrients can wash out. First off, what we do is the side with the most holes is going to be facing the plant. Alright, so I'm just going to push it in like so. Take my little handy dandy. Hope it works this time. Hole punch. Quickly do your hole. Some water coming out because I had to test the line, make sure everything was clear. Snap that right on in. There you have it. Take your soil around that. <clears throat> um, to the next one. This one's always calling me at the wrong time. Right, so once again, four holes. Push it right next to the root ball. Like so. these up. Um, this is not for watering. Just to let you know, this is not how I'm planning to water these. Um, I am going to get a splitter for this. I actually have one I can borrow from a neighbor for the time being. And I'm going to install a, uh, what do you call that? Soaker hose. Which I still need to buy. But I can come out here and water you know, by hand until I do. So I get around there. Being able to afford it. <laughs> Alright, be right back. Alright, so I went ahead and layered out, put a layer of cedar mulch down to help keep back the weeds. And it's mulch. <laughs> Time to fill these up, so I went ahead and removed the newspaper. All the way up to the top. Keep any critters from, you know. Moving in, making home out of that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same uh, for the other side over there. Okay. Be right back. All right, everyone. So there it is, finished product. Finish. See, so I have to fish you're in the damn ground. Just kidding. I do have to thank you though. He's the one that turned me on to these bananas from the Florida Hill Nursery, and. Uh, Definitely made sure I got them in and didn't let them go to waste. So, thank you, brother. And uh, if you want to check out After Fish's uh, channel, I don't know, there's some numbers after it. I don't remember to call them. But, look at any of one of my past five or six videos. He made a comment about where my banana's at. So, you can click on his link. Um, so yeah, I filled that up to the top, and what I do is uh, just 
come over here with the water. And you can just soak that and what it's doing is taking the water all the way down to the bottom of that pipe that I showed you. How I installed with all the holes. So that's getting the water all the way across, all the way down the middle. Um, I turned on the Rainbird system, it's working. I don't see any leaks. Uh, it's not on right now. So that, you know, there's plenty of plenty of nutrients in the soil right now at this time so it doesn't really need it but I will start using that within you know a couple of weeks time um, now I only did there's six bananas here I only did five pipes this one right here in the corner I did not get one this is my control and this pipe right here has Job's and blood mill Job's tomato feed blood mill and trifecta from in my gardener this is a hydroponic 16, 16, 16, very standard um, across the board fertilizer. This also has tomato, has Job's tomato, blood meal, trifecta. That one right there, that's pure trifecta. The back one, my gardener, if you want to keep track of it, it's that one right there. It has your, your product in it or the blend of something that you made and made your own product. This one has Job Tomato, Blood Mill, and I think that's it. And this is a straight 16, 16, 16 across the board. Fertilizer. On top, cedar mulch. And as these grow, I'm gonna continue to add more and more mulch. So eventually, plastic along the back here will be hidden. I didn't want to trim that off because uh, there's a bunch of stuff back there you see that. And there's still some roots and soil uh, underneath that footing so I want to keep that as up, up as high as possible. I did went ahead and trim this off a little bit just so it's below the landscaping border and I have you know that much space about uh, three inches, four inches in some spots to uh, build up the soil here with mulch. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever planted something in the ground that I'm planning to eat. You know, ferns over there. You know, I can't eat those. But they do well. That's the only other thing I've ever planted in the ground back here. I still need to level out some of these wood, uh, dirt piles. And there you have it. Got water, finally. And it's right out here, right outside my hoop house. Got the fans going. Yep, fans still going. It was good in here now, actually. Oh. My orchids are not happy. I should have just pulled them out, but it's too late now. The damage is done, and no more additional damage is going to happen. So, unless a new leaf grows and gets it to direct sunlight and burns. But my ceilings are growing inside the pure filter. Alright, so, surprise. No more babbling. If you want one of these feeders, one of these PVC feeders, I'll make one and I'll ship it to you for free. Absolutely free. Uh, just send me a PM. Um, I'll, in about a month's time. Uh, let's say today's 25th, August 25th. I'll announce the winner. Sh shoot me a PM, private message. Tell me you're interested. Put your name in a hat. Jiggle it up. And uh, I'll make one up. You can tell me what MPKs you want, what you want in it. I'll get it. And I'll put it in there for you. Alright. Until later. Hope everyone's well. And do some crazy gardening. Make up some new ideas. Come up with some new, new techniques. It's awesome. Alright. Peace.